Okay, next up, next company from San Francisco, California, OmniKey. Presenting for OmniKey is Akira Sengju, founder and CEO, and Aaron Sherloff. Welcome to the stage. How y'all doing, Duck Crunch? <laughs> Ooh, let's go. My name is Hikari Senju. I studied computer science at Harvard with a focus on AI. And in college, I started an ed tech company, which was acquired by another ed tech company in the Bay Area, where I led growth. And it was there, running growth, that I saw how much money is wasted every year on ineffective content. Content is the most important factor for growth. 47% of sales is attributed to the ad creative, and yet 25% of marketing budgets are wasted every year on ineffective content. That's a lot of money. Introducing OmniKey. OmniKey uses computer vision to quantify design elements into data points. Our AI discovers the image features, video features, design features, keywords, and more that are driving sales in your marketing. And then we use state-of-the-art machine learning and generative AI foundation models like Dolly and GPT-3 and Stability AI to generate personalized content based on real-time marketing data. Customers can then approve the generated ads through the OmniKey dashboard, at which point they're automatically launched across all the different platforms. OmniKey is the first data-driven generative AI platform. We have proprietary API integrations with all the ad networks and marketing platforms listed here to ensure that the content we generate actually drives results, actually is backed by real data. Switch to demo, please. We'll be utilizing OmniKey's own data to showcase this demo. Upon logging in, customers can immediately compare and see the performance of all their different advertising campaigns. Data underpins everything we do at OmniKey. Customers can view the top performing creative across all the different ad channels. We use computer vision to quantify and turn every single design element into data points. And by turning design into data points, we can discover what exactly about the creative is driving results. Let's dive into that now. Customers can view the top performing and, and discover the, the text on images or number of faces, colors, image features, video lengths, emojis, videos, um, content within the video that is driving results, driving conversions in their marketing campaigns. Our AI also pulls the top performing creative features. For example, the word business in the headline, or image and video features like having a person in the video, having glasses, a monkey in the video, having a hat in the video. There has never been an analytics tool for designers and for design until OmniKey. Our AI then utilizes these insights to generate personalized content at scale. Our AI generates image generation prompts based on real-time marketing data. If you remember from the previous section, a person in the video is correlated with increasing conversions, and therefore our AI has generated a prompt for image generation. Let's generate that now. Let's also now go to copy. If you remember from the previous section, the phrase grow your business was correlated with increasing conversions. So we'll select that copy. The headline was also generated by AI. And voila, what used to take a team of marketers, designers, data scientists, copywriters, weeks, not months sometimes, of work has taken our AI mere seconds to generate. These drafts of ads then are sent to our marketplace of creators to make the finishing touches. Customers can annotate each ad, provide feedback, and ensure that every single content we're generating is on brand. Once and only once customers explicitly approve the ads are the ads launched across the various ad networks. Customers can also upload their brand guidelines, brand assets, and more through our digital asset management feature to ensure that every single piece of content we're generating is on brand. 
OmniKey lets customers harness the power of state-of-art machine learning and generative AI while staying in control. Back to presentation, please. We're now over 2 million in revenue, growing 4x year over year. And we're trusted by over 100 happy customers, including those listed here. Advertising is a trillion dollar market. It's a lot of money. And our ICP is the 12 million businesses currently advertising online today. With a big market comes competition. Omniki is the first data-driven generative AI platform. The content we generate actually delivers conversions, actually delivers results because it's backed by real-time marketing data. And today we're now excited to announce the launch of our self-serve product and the first 30 customers that sign up via omnikey.com slash techcrunch get a 10% discount on their first year. So sign up today and drive your sales to the moon with AI-generated content. Thank you. That was great, very good. All right, Connie, let's start with you. Thank you, great presentation, congratulations. Uh, so I'm curious about the bottlenecks that you described that get released by this work. I think you had mentioned marketer, data scientist, and a designer. Yeah. I can understand the data science one, and I'm curious about the marketing one, but I am skeptical about the designer one, which is uh, how quantitative is brand, really? How much paint by numbers can you actually do for some of the creative stuff? Yeah, thank you, Connie, for the great question. Our average customer sees a 2x improvement in return on ad spend after utilizing our product. What, what we've shown with our traction and with our customers is that data-driven design does work. And in fact, I would almost say that now, with computer vision and the advancements of computer vision, data-driven design is the table stakes for running and creating online experiences. If I can ask a clarifying question, are you analyzing past advertisement to see what um, images or what part of the images performed well, as well as analyzing uh, past copyright to see, and then grouping them together, or are you creating new images and new copy? Thank you for the great question, Lily. Are We are both generating content and then utilizing historical data from the customer's own marketing campaigns to generate the content. It's this continuous improvement loop of generating content, analyzing what's working, and then generating new content to cre increasingly personalize the brand experience at scale. Because different audiences have different preferences in design, different ways they want to be communicated. It's hard to really intuit that sometimes without data. So new content meaning new copy and new images. Yes, we generate copy and we generate images and videos. Uh, thanks a bunch. It's really cool to see the sorts of things that people are doing with these new foundational models. It's pretty wild how much progress there's been in machine learning over the past five years in particular. Um, on that note, one of my questions is on uh, how you think about the long-term defensibility of the business, right? Because as these foundational models come out, it becomes easier and easier to do stuff like text generation, image generation, et cetera. Um, so I'm curious if there's something either within the models that you view as kind of the long-term differentiator or if it's something that lies outside of the yeah, thank you. Learning. Thank you, Brian. It's an interesting question. Our thesis is that there's going to be increased commoditization in the foundation models. There's going to be margin pressure with these various APIs competing with each other. And ultimately, probably every single big tech platform is going to offer a foundation model as a way to boost the cloud business. And so the real opportunity for us and our focus from day one has been on building the best B2B application that incorporates generative AI. That's OmniKey's vision, that's OmniKey's focus. If we can become the best B2B application that integrates generative AI into the workflow, that's, that's what we believe is the, is, the, is the big opportunity. And so in, tar, in terms of defensibility for that, it's about data, right? So every single customer signs up, our AI gets better. Every single data integration we build with an ad network or with a marketing platform or with a sales platform, our AI gets better. Our product gets better with more users. And there's this continuous virtuous loop of more users, better data, better product experience, more users, better product experience, et cetera. Josephine? 
First, just congrats. I love just how clear of a demonstration this was in terms of how AI could make creative work both more efficient and more effective. So congrats on that. I loved Brian's question. Just to build on that, I think you're in the sector of marketing tech, and oftentimes I think people, marketing tech has the issue of retention, where a lot of users will try out new products and not stick with it for that long because everyone wants kind of the newest innovation. How do you think about making even your B2B SaaS product stickier? Is it becoming a system record? How do you actually think about you know, becoming a, a long-term product with the company? Yeah, thank you, Josephine. Great question. The average CMO, as, you, as, as some may know, is, is two years. It's one of the shortest yeah. 10 years in terms of um, in the Fortune 500. Our focus, as you mentioned, is B2B. So it's integrating and building, building integrations into the sales process. It's building integrations into further other customer touch points, like eventually landing pages and emails. It's about personalizing the entire brand experience from end to end. And, if we, and to your note, if we can become the system of record, if we can become the go-to personalized design layer for online applications, for businesses, I think that is a sticky product. And, that's, and, and so, but that's for us to prove in terms of building these new product features and product improvements every day to earn their, our customers' trust and to maintain their customers' trust that they can utilize us to continue to scale their businesses. Last but not least, Jordan. So on the digital marketing side, um, as you mentioned, it's getting, it has been very, very crowded, uh, a crowded space. But also, companies are, have different objectives, and they measure ROI in very different ways. And some might be looking for more brand awareness. Some may be looking for conversion. Um, how do you train the models uh, to, to actually pick up on what, the, what is driving that ROI for the customer? Please keep the answer short. Thank you, Jordan. And thank you. The, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, could you repeat the question again? Apologize. So how do you drive, uh, how do you, yes, how right. do you train your models? Yes, exactly. Well, our belief is that actually um, direct response is the future, right? That the, as attribution has gotten better, um, you can actually now be able to attribute from the first impression to conversions for um, even sales processes. And so actually potentially uh, direct response advertising, direct response media content could actually potentially um, replace uh, massive fields of sales teams that are you paying 80K a year and maybe they're sending cold emails that aren't really converting anymore and they're, not se and they're sending cold calls and nobody's really picking up. And so uh, with the advancements in attribution analytics, and I think this is actually the third big tech innovation on top of generative AI and computer vision is the advancements in attribution. Mo more and more of the sales process and the marketing process is gonna switch from brand potentially to, and customers would prefer, brand, uh, would prefer direct response to brand if they had that data and if they had that potential available. And so that's what our focus is on, is on direct response. There are, continue to be great companies that do brand advertisements, uh, but our focus is on data and on direct response. Well, thank you very much. Thank Give you. it up. Give it up for Omni Key.